If you have been paying attention to the news or the recent media postings about the National Association of Realtors class action settlement, often referred to as NAR settlement, you probably have some questions about what exactly is going on because you've seen headlines all over the place that actually are really misconstruing what this settlement is. So I want to dig into this video, let you know exactly what's going on and how it's going to affect you whether you're buying or selling a home in the near future. Hey, I'm Adam D with the Local Connect and KW Realty. In this video, we're going to be talking about the NAR settlement. So if you're not familiar, NAR is the National Association of Realtors. And the settlement is based off of a class action lawsuit. And just to be clear, I'm not an attorney. This settlement has not yet been ratified, which means NAR has made a proposal of changes and the courts have not signed off or accepted it yet. So nothing is official. And for some reason, a lot of the media headlines you see out there make it as if there's been some major changes. Now let's dig a little bit into the misconceptions, the media headlines that you may have seen and get to the facts to learn whether these headlines are true, false, or maybe somewhere in the middle. I think the most common misconception we're seeing is that the realtor fee or the standard fee is abolished and fees have come down. I've seen a number of different headlines. There has been no change to fees. Real estate brokers can charge any fee they would like and clients can agree, disagree, no negotiate those fees. There are many different real estate brokers that all offer different fees. And as a client, it's up to you whether you want to agree to work with that broker or find a broker that offers a different fee structure if you can't come to an agreement with them. So there's never been a set fee. There's many different fees in real estate transactions, different brokers, and different business models. And so I think this is the most misleading headline to say that the fixed fee or the standard fee or anything as such has been abolished because it's simply false and not true. Another headline I saw was that home prices will decline as a result of these changes. Well, I can't say yet if this is true or false, but I can tell you I strongly disagree with it because I've never seen a fee or even interest rates for that matter affect real estate values. The value of real estate is simply supply and demand. Economic principle of supply and demand. If there's more supply, prices go down. If there's more demand or less supply, prices go up. Now there is a chance that these changes affect demand and thereby supply. For example, if the seller no longer offers to pay the representation for the buyer broker, well, that could increase supply by causing more homes to sit on the market longer. But I don't think that just this change alone is gonna bring down prices, even if the fee to sell your house comes down, I don't think that price is gonna come down. If a seller, for example, pays less in fees, if that were to happen, doesn't mean that they're gonna bring their, fee, their price down because they're paying less in fees. I've always known it that sellers are gonna sell for the most amount of money that they can that achieves their goals and their other criteria or reasons for selling. Here's another that I saw. Closing costs will be significantly lower going forward. Well, this one's very questionable because as it has stood, the majority of real estate transactions, the buyer did not have to pay the agent who represented them, the seller did. Now it remains to be seen, but if it becomes common practice that the buyer has to pay their representation, well then the cost, at least for the buyer, is going to increase and probably rather significantly. So the big concern here is, are buyers going to have the funds to pay an additional significant closing cost that they did not have to pay for before. So these new rules could actually increase costs, not lessen them. Again, it remains to be seen. We'll see how this all shakes out in the coming months and years. I hope that this video can shed a little bit of light on the recent proposed changes for this NAR settlement. And again, nothing is official yet. Nothing has changed. Everything is the norm at this time. And I'm sure there will be additional changes that come up. But for right now, this is what we know. And the next change that comes up, make a, a new video, make sure you're notified. So please hit the subscribe button for that. If you have any questions, I'm happy to have a conversation with you. My contact information is below. I'm Adam D with the Local Connect and KW Realty, and I'll see you on the next video.